Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host Jennifer Gianni, and today we are talking about postnatal pelvic floor. Again, you can use this for all sorts of populations, and we're talking about, well, how do we use the props that we might have in the studio to help the client really find and sense those proximal uh, pelvic floor muscles. And so they're not in their belly or in their quadriceps or in their glutes or in their lower back, but they're actually tr really contacting that, that subtle activation. So one of the first things that I go to is heat for my prenatal and my postnatal. Um, so using the smart spine cervical disc, heating it up a little bit is such a great way to do this. So I'm gonna put this on the stool under me. Right, and then you wanna kinda of pull the sits bones apart and the middle of that donut is right in line with the middle of my pelvic floor. And my sits bones are getting to really draw down into the sides there. And now I have all this heat that I can breathe into. So when I inhale, I can send my pelvic floor nice and wide down to the heat, keep the bones in place, and on the exhale, really concentrate on taking my pelvic floor tissue in and up away from the heat, keeping my bones in place. And that gives me a really deep, like suctioning, subtle feeling in my pelvic floor. Another thing, if you don't have the smart spine or access to heat, um, my friends from Japan gave me this. This is called the stretch pull. Now, this could be a little bit too much for some people, right? But you would place this between the pubic bone and the tail. Again, if you don't have the stretch pull, then you could just use a rolled up towel, right? And you could roll it up in a number of different ways to make it more or less. So again, you would put it between pubic bone and tailbone. Also wanna caution you that when you have a pregnant client, you don't wanna to put too much underneath them. Something this small would probably be okay or smaller, and for the pregnant client, the heat and the cervical disc is also wonderful. But probably, I think the stretch pull or a ball or something like that would not be appropriate for a pregnant client. So I have this towel between my pubic bone and my tail. So it's creating sensation. It's having my neurological system recalibrate, right? It's feeling something underneath me. So on the inhale, I breathe into it, my bones stay the same, and on the exhale, I'm trying to contact those muscles that are just around the towel. And there is that deep, subtle suctioning feeling of my pelvic floor. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.